Do you make fire beats and wonder why you can't get them off to the right people to listen to or to buy? Do you make good beats and wonder why you hear people singing and rapping over beats that aren't quite as good as yours? Do you make average beats and wonder how you can just get your average beats in the hands of somebody who could use them? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys five different ways that you guys can get your beats out there. You can get your brand out there and you can get yourself out there to people who need producers like you. Um, my name is something, something, something. Hit the keys in case you've never been to my channel before. And um, this is a new series we're called, called Made for Mondays. Um, every Monday, I'm going to bring you guys some kind of motivational tips or just some kind of hints or things that help you become a better producer and things that you can do uh, to try to further your producer career. And, you know, get your stuff off. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into this video. Push. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, so there's many different ways that you can get your beats off. Uh, the conventional way is just to sell it to rappers or singers, but we're going to dig a little deeper than that today, and I'm actually going to tell you how to get your beats to be used. Um, the first one that I want to go over today is you might want to reach out to social media content creators. Social media content creators need all kinds of copyright music. So it's nothing to watch some content all the time and you hear some content that doesn't have any music or you hear content creators complain all the time about their videos getting copyright strikes. Well, a, a quick way to fix that problem for them and you is to watch their content and maybe send them an email and say, hey, you know, I'm something, something hit the keys. Um, I make beats. I really like your 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 content. I like the things that you're doing. Um, I was just wondering if you needed some background music. You know, and it's OK to send somebody a free beat. If you're not selling any beats and you're not doing anything with your beats right now, why not try to get your beat into a content creator who may have thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, you know, shoot for the stars, a million, you know, subscribers. Then that's a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million people that's heard your beat. You throw your beat tag in there and they use that for the intro. Now, every single time somebody watches their content, they hear your beat. And then in return, you tell that content creator, hey, just put a, in your description that this beat was made by whatever your name is. It was made by something, something, something. And put a link to either your YouTube channel or your SoundCloud or whatever that you're using, your Instagram, whatever that you're using. And so now people, when they go through the description, they're going to see, oh, this fire beat was made by this person. Let me check them out. So now you never know who's watching that content. There's other content creators that need beats. I have beats that are on different kind of con um, different kind of content creators intros or they use them for their pause or they use it for all kinds of stuff podcast um, I have songs that are on podcasts like I've done theme songs for podcasts I've just done different things that I didn't think was really possible at first because I was stuck in the mode of just making beats for rappers or just making beats for singers or whatever it was so that's definitely a route that you need to look into and then after you know you maybe you give away a couple beats and now you're on you know a couple different um, content creators page and now you're getting seen by 50,000 100,000 however many people that that following has and that's going to attract rappers to you that's going to attract other content creators to you that's going to attract other people to you that would have never saw you before so if you only have a couple hundred followers on on Facebook or Instagram or whatever platform that you're using this is definitely a way to go Another thing that you need to think about is you need to watch their content. And if they do actually want you to send them some beat, send them a beat that fits with their content. So don't just send them the most trappiest beat if they are on a channel that's, you know, that's you would probably use trap music. You know, if it's some like, you know, girl who's all nice, sweet, and innocent, then maybe you need to send her some lo-fi. Maybe you need to send her some R&B. If it's a super ratchet channel, then maybe you might want to send them some trap music instead of some R&B. If it's an older cat, maybe you might want to send them some boom bap, you know? Um, send them a couple of uh, different samples, but don't send them the whole beat. Just send them like a 15 second snippet. And if they like it, then you know you go from there. You know, you don't pigeonhole yourself into not getting anything out of the deal. And they get to hear a couple of different samples and they get to choose what they like. So that's definitely um, a route that you guys should take a look at is trying to 
uh, I want to say kind of like partner with a, a different content creator. You know, you guys, we need each other. You know, we need people to use our beats, whether it's a rapper or whatever it is from there. Um, the second one, I would definitely say you need to build a website. You can literally go to Bluehost and you can create a website for, I think it's like, I think I made my website for like 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks at the tops for a year. So think about it like this. If you sell one beat, one beat, if you lease two beats for $60 for a whole year, you've paid for your website. If you sell one beat for an exclusive right beat for a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars however much you want to charge, you have paid for your website for two years. And then you also need to link all your social medias to that website so that people, when they find your website, they can see everything that you do. So we'll take a look here at the computer. I created a website because I created a website and I linked all my stuff to that website. You can see on Google, I have my own knowledge panel, which I'm in the process of getting right now, getting the claimage for it. But Google recognizes me as a musical artist, which is dope because anytime somebody Googles you, they're going to see, oh, this person must be a real deal because not everybody has a Google, a Google knowledge panel. So that's a big deal. You know, it's a big deal to an artist, in my personal opinion. Um, and then another thing is when you have multiple accounts, so instead of just trying to use SoundCloud to sell your beats and only using one, one different social media account, you should make them all. You should try to grow them all because when people go to search for you on to see if you're credible, like if you try to reach out to a content creator and they want to see how credible you are, they're going to Google you. That's what everybody does. When you want to find out about somebody, what do you do? You Google them. When you want to check out a business to see if a business is legit, what do you do? You Google that business. So somebody's going to Google you before they use you or before they reference you to somebody else. So you see, you know, I have the Facebook, I got Twitter, I got YouTube, I got YouTube, I got a website right here, I got BeatStars, I got Spotify, I got Instagram, I got Apple, I got TikTok, and then there's more. And then if they want to go a step deeper, you know, they could probably call it, well, let's see what he does. And then they hit videos, and then it's like, bam, he's got all these videos. You know, obviously a lot of you guys follow me on YouTube, so you know I have a lot of videos, so I don't have to go through all this. But they can basically find out who you are and find out what they need to know and see if they want to work with you. And that's a big step is people feeling comfortable with you. If you want to go farther than just some random rapper, you know, if you want to try to really get your beats out there, all kinds of different genres and all kinds of different people. Um, that's something that you should really look into is a website because a website makes you look professional. Think about it. Would you rather buy meat out of the back of a car or would you rather buy meat out of the grocery store? Think about it just like that with the website. Would you rather go to a website and just purchase a beat or would you rather try to get a hold of somebody through SoundCloud and then you got to message this person through SoundCloud and then you got to PayPal this person through, pay, through SoundCloud and then you got to hope they send you the beat because people might have been screwed. There's been people in the past who haven't sent the beat after they got paid. So think to yourself, what is the best way for me to get paid? And then when you create the website, you know, the website doesn't even have to be the most professional. It just needs to be a website where they can find out a little bit about you and they can get your music. So you can attach your BeatStars account or whatever account that you want to where it'll have it automatically pop up and all they have to do is click on it, click on it and they get the beat. That's I mean, that's the easiest way. And then another thing about having a website is people can message you through that website. So now they feel comfortable with you because they're like, oh, this dude's got a credible website. Uh, let me send him a message to the website. And so then it'll come right to your email. That's how I've sold a lot of beats. I've sold more beats through my email from my website than I actually have from the beats that are on the website. Granted, I haven't updated any of the beats on the website in like 10 months, um, but People follow my channel, they follow me, they see me, so on and so forth. So they know I make beats. They'll get at me and they'll ask me to make them this type of beat and I'll make them that type of beat. So a website is something that you should definitely invest in. And even like beat stars, if you have to pay the $9.99 to get the 50 song, the 50 beats, you know, to put on your site, you get, I think, 20 for free, but it's 50 to 100 for $9.99 a month. It's a good investment because, again, if you sell one exclusive beat for the year, just one exclusive beat for the whole entire year, then that pays for the website and that pays for your beat stars for the whole year. And that's an investment that you have to think about it like that. If you're really trying to sell beats, have confidence in yourself. You should be able to make one exclusive sale or at least five beats for a whole entire year. Um, the next is another low key one. Um, it's kind of similar to the reach out to the content creators. Reach out to gamers. 
Gamers need music for everything. They need it for their a be right back screen. They need it for their pause screen. They need it for their overlay. They need it for their intro. They need it for their coming soon. They need it for music to play in the background. They need it for their outro when they think people. Gamers have followers. So there's gamers out here with huge followers. There's gamers with, you know, people who watch 5,000 watchers during each stream or whatever it is. You know, there's gamers with thousands of, of, of subscribers who, you know, maybe get 50 to 100. But every single time gamers do something and they click on a button, they need music. And so when the people hear your music, they're going to ask the gamers, oh, who made that beat or where'd you get that beat from? The gamer is going to tell them they got the beat from you because gamers are just like producers. Producers, you know how somebody will ask us, oh, what 808 is that? And we'll tell them, oh, it's that spins 808. Or, hey, what plugin is that? We'll tell them what plug it is. Gamers are the same way. They like to, you know, help their subscribers out. They like to help people out in their community. So if you can partner with a gamer, I have gamers that I give beats to. You know, and then now they have people that they've sent my way. So I've gotten a ton of subscribers. I've gotten people bought and beats, so on and so forth, all because I partnered with some gamers and these gamers basically hooked me up with their whole entire sub, their whole entire sub list. So that's definitely another route that you should look into. Um, because again, gamers need music. When you're playing games, what are you doing? You're listening to music. If you watch a gamer stream, do you just want to watch a boring stream? No, you want to watch a gamer stream where they have music come in, where they have different kinds of funny things come in, where they, they're, they're participating with you. They need that stuff too. So it's another avenue is to get gamers your music. Um, the fourth one um, would be uh, this one I haven't used, but I have friends that use this consistently. Um, and it's called Taxi. Um, Taxi is basically an A&R company, um, and what you can do is, I know I said in a video, you shouldn't have to pay people for a submission into a contest, but this is a little different. This isn't scammy. They have found a whole bunch of artists over time. This is a credible company. You pay them $15 for a submission, um, but they're not spamming you. They're not trying to scam you. They're actually going to submit your stuff to different A&Rs, and they have different places that you can submit it to. So if you never heard of Taxi before... Um, basically, uh, Taxi, get free daily music requests. Taxi's industry listings tell you exactly the decision makers need right now. Pitch your music to major independent record labels, music publishing companies, film and TV, music supervisors, production libraries, ad agencies, and video game companies. Uh, they've been building relationships since 1992 and their database reads like a who's who in the music industry. Uh, they bring opportunities to your front door. Um, so, you know, basically it's a solid company. There's no guarantee that they're going to use your beat, um, but this is basically how it works. So it says how taxi works. Um, and they work with these companies, ABC, MTV, NBC, Spike, Fox, CBS, Capital, Warner Brothers. So they work with a lot of different companies, meaning since they work with a lot of different companies, they need a lot of different producers to send them different kinds of beats. And they put your stuff in playlists, they put them in commercials, they put them on shows. They, you know, that's how you when you hear these different kinds of beats on these shows, they're getting it from companies like this. Um, how we help you? Taxi delivers those targeted opportunities right to your front door. Record labels, publishers, music libraries, film, TV, music supervisors tell us what kind of songs, instrumental tracks, and artists they currently need. Then they tell us, um, and then they try to match your music with what you what they need. So if you send them good tracks, you can get paid somewhere between a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. You might get signed. You might get a deal. Um, you know, you do have to sign our way the 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 rights to your beats and your music. Uh, but they pay you outright for it, you know? So again, if you're not getting paid anything for a beat, but you might want to send it here, 15 bucks, I think is what you have to pay 10 or 15 bucks for their submission. You might be able to turn around and get a couple hundred thousand dollars. And that is what I'm saying is if people are wanting to make money off you and pay you for a prize, then that means it's legit. If people want to make money just from you, then that means it's a scam. So just in case you didn't see that video the other day, those are some tips that you need to know. Um, and then like this is your their listings. So they tell you exactly what they want. So it's like right here, it says lots of rhythmic um Basically for hip hop, lots of rhythmic, current sounding hip hop instrumentals are needed by a great publisher with an awesome track record for really big placements and TV commercials. They're looking for mid to up tempo instrumentals that could fit system, system stylistically on a playlist with the following examples. Um, and then they give you examples of beats and what they're looking for. 
And then it just tells you that they're looking for instrumentals only, even though these have uh, vocals on them. So it tells you, please submit modern hip hop instrumentals that are rhythm rhythmically engaging from start to end. I promise y'all I can read. Um, I, I promise y'all I can read. Um, and then it just gives you some tips and so on and so forth. So this is definitely something that people don't really talk about too much, but it's definitely something that you can do um, to get your beats off, you know? Um, and then it's not just limited to hip hop. You know, if you do rock, whatever you do, these are all different opportunities that they have. Um, so, you know, I can scroll down and there's different tiers and so on and so forth. But just here at the top, they tell you they got adult, contemporary, blues, indie, jazz, pop, R&B, singer, songwriters, Americana, children's, instrumental, Latin, rap, hip hop, rock, uh, world ethnic music. So whatever it is that you are looking to make kind of music, you can submit it here. And the fifth and the last one is, you know, it's obviously a pretty common sense one, but you can reach out to artists yourself. And you don't always have to charge an artist. Sometimes you can work with an artist and find an artist on Instagram, you know, start messaging them, listening to some different artists that you like and message them and tell them, hey, you know, I really like your music. I make beats that are your style. Um, I'd really like to collab on a song. We can both push it and see where the song can go. Because uh, sometimes it just takes more than diff one different group of people pushing a song. So just think if you got with somebody who, like, let's say I live in Atlanta. Let's say I got up with somebody who lives in California and I'm pushing the song here in Atlanta and they're pushing the song there in California with all their people and me, all my people, we have a better chance of that song making it, you know, opposed to me only trying to sell beats to people I know. That's what I mean by this too, is get outside of the box of only trying to sell beats to people you know, or only trying to sell pe beats to people in your community. You know, if you want to grow, if you want to grow as a producer, if you want to grow your brand, if you want to grow anything, you need to stop focusing on the people that you know, because the people that you know are your friends, they're not your fans. So you need to try to move past them. and You need to try to reach out to other different people, reach out to people who are in the same area as you. Because again, if you're pushing a song and they're pushing the song and you're in two different areas, that makes it a greater opportunity for that song to grow. So again, Make sure when you're sending them these beats, you're sending them something that it sounds like that they would use. Don't just send them a boom bap, you know, boom bap track and they're a trap rapper. Don't just send them, you know, some kind of R&B track and they're a boom bap rapper. So you get what I'm saying. Don't send them something that they can't use. Make sure you send them something that they can use. Make sure you strike up a conversation with them. Don't just be spammy. Don't just send every single artist the same message. Personalize the message compliment them, talk about whatever song it is that you liked or theirs, you know, tell them what parts that you liked, tell them why you think that you guys would be a good fit to work together, you know, give them some details. Think about it like this. If you've ever been in a group and you have posted your music and then within 15 seconds, somebody sent you a message talking about, I do art, uh, my art's fire, flex emoji, flex emoji, flex emoji. What's the odds of you messaging that person back? Not very great. You're just going to be like, oh, another spam, you know, artist or whatever it is. And no disrespect to the artist, man. We love you, too. We know you guys doing your thing. But if somebody messaged you and was like, hey, man, what's up? I really liked your song. I thought that beat that you just put out on SoundCloud or wherever it was on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, I think that song was super fire. Um, you know, I'd really like to work with you. And then in return, you'd be like, oh, you like to work with me in what kind of facet? And then in return, they'll be like, well, I do art, blah, 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 blah. See, they've already struck up a conversation with you. And since they've started striking up a conversation with you, they're more likely to talk to you and they're more likely to continue the current report. You're more likely to talk to them. You're more likely to finish the conversation. And I was saying that in the context of you messaging an artist, they're more likely to talk to you if you continue to strike up the conversation. If you continue to build them up and build up what you guys can do together, then they're more likely to continue to talk to you. Um, so that's five tips I got for you guys. I hope it helps you out this Monday. And I hope it motivates you guys. Um, again, if you've been on my channel, you know I do plug-in reviews. Um, you know I do tutorials. You know I just try to do all kinds of things to help out the producer community and rappers and all artists in general. 
Um, I'm going to say what I always say. So make sure if you like this content, uh, drop a whole elbow on that like button, uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you could be the first to see. Hope you guys like this series because I'm going to bring it to you every single Monday, May for Mondays. Uh, appreciate you guys' time today, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.